السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ واٹ ہیپنس ٹو یور باڈی ڈیورنگ رمضان فاسٹنگ ہیو یو ایور بین تھاٹ آف سچ کوشچن ٹو یور سیلف اور ہیو یو آسٹ ٹو اینی ون واٹ ایکچولی یو آر گوئنگ تھرو لائک یور باڈی کنڈیشن ہاؤ اٹ از بیکمنگ فلیکسیبل ٹو کیپنگ فاسٹنگ ان دا رمضان ایکسیٹرا سو ٹوڈے لیٹ سی واٹ از ایکچولی ہیپننگ ٹو یور باڈی ڈیورنگ دس رمضان فاسٹنگ so let's see the first phase means the initial two days what is actually happening um, like it will we can say it as a purification is starting so both blood sugar levels and blood pressure drops actually the first two days and glycogen is pulled from the muscle causing some weakness and intense hunger headache dizziness nausea and bad breath are the signs of the first stage of the cleanse means first two days like uh, we'll feel some uh, dizziness and uh, lot of weakness and uh, heavy hungry uh, such that like we can't keep fasting such that uh, thoughts will be coming up so we'll actually clarify like uh, we'll actually uh, this two phase two days phase will be coming under the purification starting of your body purification so the next second phase means the day three to day seven what is happening habituation means uh, it will become a little habit to your day to day life this uh, fasting from day 3 to day 7 the body gets used to the fasting schedule and the digestive system settles down so the body once after 2 to 3 uh, days so slowly the body will be getting used to this schedule like uh, sahari time iftari time all these things and your digestive system settles down the digestive system focus its energy on cleansing the body and healing cells the organs begin their repair process so this will happen uh, in the second phase and in the third phase means the day 8 to the day 15 what is happening here energy will get increase by how so the energy level increases thoughts become clearer and a general sense of well-being strikes the healing process becomes more efficient and the body repairs all damaged cells at this stage and detoxification of the colon liver kidney lungs and skin so here in this phase actually the body will get used to the procedure of the timing schedule and it itself the body get used to itself right the timing schedule so our energy level will begin to increase and our thoughts are like um, what we are thinking the day schedule all will become clearer and the healing process also will become more efficient and the body also uh, repairs all damaged cells at this stage so in the fourth phase means at the 15 like the first 15 days like phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 we have seen right so what will happen in the last means fourth phase means day 16 to the last day of ramadan fasting means day 30 so the full power will gain so how during the last 10 days of fasting in ramadan the body has become accustomed to the fasting procedure and the body becomes more energetic one has an improved memory and increased concentration at this stage the organs finish their healing process and once all toxins are removed the body can reach its maximum capacity so by this way only we are saying the fourth phase like uh, it is the full power maximum energy we are getting in this fourth phase so now it is a, a bit clear right so in this uh, during this 30 days of uh, ramadan fasting what our body actually going through and uh, how it is become habitual so this is all about today zaka khala khaya thank you so much and please do subscribe bye